All right, guys, welcome back to Holly Off Road. This is a different video than our normal ones because we just bought a Mahindra tractor. And we got the grapple on the front, and it has a third function controller. And I'm going to show you what we did to hook up the third function. This is the control valve for the third function. The instructions show to mount it to these two bolts, but it sticks too far out and it looks vulnerable to me. And so what I did is I put two longer bolts in here, this bolt and this bolt. I took them out and put longer bolts in it. And then I put this bracket on the back side of the bolts on this back side here, and then just put nuts on them to hold it on. Let's see that nut right there. Yeah, there's two of them, okay. And so then the hydraulic lines, I just run over the top of the loader. There's two big zip ties here. And then a big one here on the top of the cylinder. And just run to the bracket. This bracket's super easy. Just one nut holds it on. You know, and it's a nut that's already there on the loader. You know, you just take the nut off and the washers and you tighten it back down with the bracket. And it has a quick coupling in it for the uh, grapple. Now under here, this is where it got tricky for me. The instructions were not very clear. There's one flexible hydraulic line that goes to the loader valve right here, this hydraulic valve. Okay, it comes in the back side right here. Can you see that, Sam? Or my fingers are right in here. Okay, it connected, it connected to where this line is, somewhere in here, I can't see myself. Right here was one end of the hose and the other end of the hose was here. And it was this short hose. Okay, you do, it has a it has a seven eighths fittings on both ends of it. You take this hose off and leave it off. Okay, and then your two hoses here, the one marked P, I run down through this channel and run it to the valve itself, where it goes into the valve here, and then the other hose marked T, I ran it to where the other end of the line went on the metal line, right here. Trying to see it. Yeah, you can see it in there, right there. Awesome. Okay. So, the instructions are so unclear about how to do this, it took me a while to figure it out <laughs> and a phone call to the local dealer. All right, so we got those hooked up. Now, that takes care of all the hydraulic stuff. So remember, take this line off and leave it off, okay? So what it's doing is with your hydraulics, it's actually taking this valve and just putting it into a loop, okay? And so the hydraulic the hydraulic pressure used to go into this valve, but now it goes into this hose first, goes through this block and right back into the valve, uh, completing the loop, okay? So that way this can work while this down here works at the same time and, uh, and they won't affect each other, okay? So that takes care of the hydraulics. Now this right here is where the uh, the uh, the loader joystick is. Now the older models had this loader valve mounted underneath here, and I took the two bolts out already. So I'll raise this up, pull this cover off. Comes off real simple with just two bolts. So these are just two cables here. When you run your joystick, these two cables go down and feed the tell the loader valve, you know, what you're doing loader or bucket okay so i got one wire from the from the new third function and i run it through here and i looped it up and run with the cables and it's going to come up next to the shifter i mean not shifter joystick and it's got a new handle and it's going to have a switch in it for the third function control now this is what you need to know because i couldn't find this anywhere this handle pulls straight off but I believe that this is formed on here, like poured in a form or something <laughs> from the factory. Because inside of here, it has, a, it has like a rubber peg that goes through that hole and connects both sides. Like it was melted on there or formed on this, not just pressed on. And so you have to run a screwdriver up inside here and, and cut that rubber piece on both sides in order to pull it off okay you just pump a screwdriver inside it on both sides of the handle to kind of cut it loose and it is super hard to pull off of there okay and then once you get it off 
we're gonna have to get a grinder and grind this down enough to get to get this handle down on it and so that's what we're about to do next and then we'll have this wire here has three wires in it we'll strip those back and hook up the switch the third function it just has three spade terminals on it and uh, once i get to the next step of this we'll uh, show you how it goes but we're fixing to grind off a little bit of this here on both sides of that this bell shape to be able to get the handle on I got this grinded down where it's pretty much even all the way up and down you can leave it a little bigger here but you know pretty much pretty much where this is the same width as the knurled part just enough where you can slide the handle down over it okay slide down to where the top of the handle is even with the the top of this uh, barrel right here okay now let's go ahead and tighten our allen set screws in I normally have Allen sockets, but I don't have them with me at the moment. You know, I have to tighten them super tight. We'll do, we'll check them again when we're done. That's just pretty much to hold the handle kind of where we're going to want it at. Now the wire, you run it up to the side of the handle. There's a, a small channel to run it up into. Just like that. Okay, and I've already trimmed it. To the length I want. <clears throat> so now we're going to get the switch and we're just going to push the switch into the handle there until it locks in. So now we've got enough room for everything there. We'll get a razor blade and without cutting your finger just gently cut into the outer sleeve and roll it as you do it. It kind of takes some technique to do it without cutting through the wire. Okay. If you don't want to cut into your wires, you just want to cut the sleeve off. Take your time. Make sure you don't cut into the wires. Okay, so our wires look good. I didn't cut through them. Now, you can get your regular wire strippers if they go down that small. Okay. What I like to do with these is fold them over to where they're kind of a little bit thicker. So the wire will hold into the terminal better when you crimp it on there. Get my crimping plier. These crimping pliers work a lot better than the ones that strip and crimp all, crimp all together. These give you more leverage. I'm gonna go ahead and get these crimped on and then plug them on the terminals. It says in the directions that the green wire goes to the top one and the yellow wire goes to the middle and the blue goes to the bottom. So I'll get them plugged up on there and, uh, and we'll start the tractor up. Let's see, after I get my red wire hooked up to my power. I'll show you that here in a few minutes, but, but I'm not going to put the handle all the way together until I'm able to work it and make sure that it does open and close where I want it on the switch. Because uh, if it's backwards, we just flip the two, the top and bottom wire, 
and then then it'll open and close how you want it okay all right we'll be back in a minute all right guys got the handle mounted i got the power wire run to the uh for the fuse to a plug in that i found under the seat um so if you see here the switch just has three wires green yellow and blue okay and it just works the rocker switch there and uh now they've got hooked up we're ready we'll tighten up these two set screws and then tighten the jam nuts to keep them tight and then after that the cover just goes on it with uh, two little screws here and then one big screw here in the middle it's pretty simple um, and then I'll, I'm gonna get some zip ties and just zip tie the wire here the uh, the uh, loader valve lever and then I'll show you where I hooked up the fuse for the power wire because there's two wires that come off of the valve okay and these these black black wires one of them has a single red wire that goes to the 10 amp fuse the other one has three small wires that they all go through here and up to here and the three small wires go to the switch so it's real simple one power wire no ground it's a self-grounding unit and then three wires for the switch okay now i'll show you where i put the fuse for the power wire look in the seat here's the black wire the 10 amp fuse and i run in line to a connector that's under here that doesn't connect to anything I found it has it has a fire with the key on and uh, I'll see if I can show you a picture under the back where you can see the plug-in okay all right you can see my orange wire from the fuse right here there was a connector that all it had was a jumper wire connecting these two terminals is just a black jumper wire so I cut it stripped it and put a female protected spade and then i put a male spade on the orange wire from the fuse just connected into it so this jumper wire is always connected even if the fuse blows for the loader valve it will not affect this this will keep going okay so it's as though i didn't mess with the harness so there's that and the wires ran underneath this cover and it just went right over there to the fuse okay and so then I just zip tied up my excess wire there. I got it running down here and I'll zip tie it to these lines as it comes out of the loader valve. All right, guys, I'll pause the video and start tractor up and you can see it in action. Allen set screw on the outside edge of the handle on this particular tractor because this is a new Mahindra it's a 2022 model 1640 this the handle joystick was made different and I had to cut the that Allen head bolt down I had to cut about a quarter inch off of it so it tightened down all the way but other than that it put back together just fine and now we're going to see it work quick simple explanation of how to install the WR long third function controller hydraulics and electronics on a Mahindra 1640.